Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to Creating a Wingless Angel. If you're subscribed, thank you for joining me. If you are not, now's a good time to do so. I got my Amazon package. New molds. Hooray. So I'm going to go ahead and open these. Oh, yay. Hooray. I got some new coaster molds. These are the geometrical ones. So, they're supposed to look like geodes. Resin coaster mold. I get geodes. So, yeah, these are the geodes. And I got the succulents. So there's nine succulent molds, and we'll be doing these later. Oh, I can't wait to try them. Oh, they look so cool. Oh, they're really squishy. They're really squishy and soft. Smelling them. Little cactus. Oh, these are going to be fun. Oh, now I can make little geo gardens. All right, I took advantage of Amazon's sale. They run specials every once in a while. Ooh, that is so neat. Never seen that type. Oh, I can't wait to try these. So there they are. There's all the little succulents. Cool. Ooh. Ooh, look. Pretty. I cannot wait to try these. Let me keep the bags. That way I have a backseat. Put them in and protect them. At least one bag. The there we go. Now if you're wondering how I keep my molds, I have a, I have those plastic space bags. I'm sure you've seen them advertised. Oh, these are four different molds. Look at that. That one's got like a crystal edge. So does this one. Yeah, that one's kind of, yeah, they all got like a crystal edge. There they are, a little bit bigger. Ooh, they're even numbered. I did not notice that. They're numbered. One, two, three, four. There they are. My new molds. Yay. Alright, we will work on these in a little bit, so I will see you then. Be back in a moment. Okay, just a short video here for Monday. <coughs> I've already started this. So, I'm going to be doing these and the new succulent molds. I don't know if I'm going to show them. But I did get them, and I got the new Advent Lewis. So, but I want to finish these beads for this bracelet. I've been very busy today. So, I can't find my needle. Wherever it went, there it is. Like I said, if you're new to beading, there are several wonderful, wonderful bead tutorials. So, I don't have any resin made up. I'm still waiting on some more new supplies. I'm waiting for payday. But I did find something at the thrift store. 
I actually found some more beading thread, which is great. Like, I really needed more, but I found some clear that'll work in resin better than what I have. Even though the white is fine and it's really thin, I'm not going to need out. I really want the red. I'm not grabbing the red. I have all this red and I'm not grabbing a single one. So, let me get a stop bead out. All a stop bead is, is a bead to hold all the other beads in place. I know they show a different way of doing this, but it's just easier for me to do this instead of having to wind back through it. So I'm going to throw a few out here. Make it easier. To grab these. There we go. Throw these beads in here. That way I don't have to go back through them. Beads I want. Move it out of the way. I do, I do wish this mat was flatter, but it works. It's working fine. Seems to be working just fine. At least my beads aren't bouncing everywhere and jumping all over the place. I wish the holes would show themselves a little better. I keep wanting to see the ones I don't need are showing their holes, and the ones I do need are stopping on their holes. So, what I'm doing is, I have a row of really pretty beads set up, and I have a row of white, now I'm doing a row of red, there we go, and this is going to have clear resin in it. way I can see the beads because I don't want to block them. I don't know if I have a glitter. I'm thinking about adding like a silver glitter to it, but nothing too gaudy. I don't want to bury the beads. Just so something to make it a little shimmery. I think I have a shimmer. Pretty sure I do. So we'll uh, do that. It's really weird because I used to do this on Facebook. I used to show all my bead work on Facebook. I got a lot of beads on Facebook, but I never thought to post it to my YouTube channel. If I had done this years ago, my channel would have more subscribers by now. But I never did. I'm like most of the new, new people out there now. These people really have to make all that noise.
They're still working construction of the street they're building a new apartment complex. And they're working on our water today. So they called me, woke me up from my afternoon nap. We're shutting off the water. Oh, great. I was going to call them today and tell them, hey, the hot water ain't working anyways. Yeah, they shut off the water, so. I grabbed my survival bucket and filled it full of cold water, so. Because the water, hot water was already shut off. As long as I got water for tea. Now, I have drinking water in the refrigerator, so I have bottled water. I'm fine. As long as I have the water for a cup of... I'm great. See? That's how easy it is. That's all it is to beating. A nice straight mine. I, I'm familiar with the ladder stitch which looks really pretty which I'm thinking about doing on a different one of these molds for the jewelry boxes now there's a herringbone stitch there's a POK stitch, which is says even, and then there's uneven. Uh, there's fringe work. These are the smallest beads I have ever seen. I think I've had them smaller, but I don't see no point to having beads this small. Not unless you're going to sew them to, to material. Because they're, they're just too small. Too small to really do anything with. Except maybe sew them onto a... Onto a, a pouch or something. Like leather beading work. These are in that bag that I bought. I swore when I bought beads this small before, they were, I had a thousand of them, they were beautiful. I swore I would never deal with beads this small again. I swore those are way too small. Bigger beads, better projects, just saying. Not unless I had a machine like the That one thing that was, uh, I think it was in the 70s they had one. It's called the Dazzler. Where you could customize your blue jeans with rhinestones and studs. Yeah, the Bedazzler or the Ron Ronco Coquille rhinestones and studs setter. That's what it was. Try and find one of those these days. <laughs> and as you can see, that's just going to lay in there. And this will look lovely. So don't don't think you can't do something just because you've never tried it. I, I think I think more people are afraid not of failing but of trying. If you fail, you fail. Try again. 
keep practicing, keep doing it, just keep doing it. Watch, watch some uh, educational videos on what you want to learn. Watch a lot of videos and it'll click. Trust me, it'll click. And it, it'll not only click, it'll stick. See? You tried to run and the math stopped it. It didn't give it anything to run it. The, the slick surface of my silicone mat and my my leveling table is helping a lot. I realized even that one just popped right on my hand. Even for bead work, having a level table helps because then they don't all roll off. Nothing more frustrating. <laughs> See? It popped out of my hand, but it didn't go far. Yay! I wish I knew where my thimble was. I have thimble tapes somewhere. I have like two or three of them there somewhere. Probably in my sewing. Uh, yeah, I actually, uh, at the thrift store found some bead wire. It was, it, it said Black & Decker on it, but I knew it was bead wire the minute I saw it. It was nylon, nylon thread. They called it chalk wire, and I'm like, I know that's nylon thread. And I know that's a brand new rule. It was supposed to be a double pack, but it wasn't a double pack. But they were only selling it for a dollar. And it was only one roll. But it said 40 yards for a dollar. And I'm like, and it wasn't even used. The second one wasn't even used. It was brand new. It was still factory taped but it was in a two-pack somebody opened one took one and I'm like oh, I'm not gonna get any none on water um, yeah I don't think I'm gonna get any water today I moved it somewhere probably over there but yeah none on water all right yeah got it first I was like I couldn't believe I found it they didn't have much as far as crafting supplies, they were really low. But I did find what I wanted. I did find what I wanted. So. I was hoping I could find some more bead thread. Because this is cotton. And I'm on this better. Finding all kinds of weird beads. So I'm gonna do this row and then I'm in this video. I will most likely post a present video tomorrow. I was just so busy today. Like I said, they're doing maintenance and it was just it was just too noisy here, too noisy. I could not do nothing. There's nothing I could do about it. They had maintenance people in and out. And when I thought they were done, they were calling me back, saying they were going to do some more work. And it got till after 6 o'clock. I'm like, ugh. And that lays in there. A little bit more to go and then I will fill it with resin it's red white and blue I don't know if you can see that 
but there they are. So I'm going to end this video. And we'll do some more crafting tomorrow. So join me. Stay subscribed. Hit like, share. Tap the bell. All notifications. And join me tomorrow for another fun video. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>